Hi, this is Jordan Fessler at Variant Studios in Old Town, Fort Collins, Colorado, and today I'm going to show you something cool. Hi, this is Jordan Fessler from Variant Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to use the application IFT. First, let's go to IFT. 3ts.com and click on this learn more button. The task of IFT is that it puts the internet to work for you by creating tasks that fit this simple structure, if this, then that. Think of all the things you could do if you're able to define any task as when something happens, this, then do something else, that. There are three parts to IFT triggers, actions, and channels. The trigger of if this and that is the this part. For example, triggers are if I'm tagged in a photo on Facebook or if I tweet on Twitter. The action is the that part of the task. For example, actions are then send me a text message or then create a status message on Facebook. The final part of if are the channels. Triggers and actions come from channels. Channels are the unique services and devices you use every day. Some example channels are the ones shown below, but there are also many more like Vimeo, Tumblr, even text messages. So when you put all these parts together in IFT, you put one channel's trigger together with another channel's action and create a task. For example, if a new photo of me gets tagged on Facebook, then send me an email. Or their example here, if any new photo of you gets blogged on Instagram, then put it in your Dropbox. You could also create recipes. This is where you create your own if task and you can share them or keep them private. If you share them with other people, they can add them themselves and use it as well. It's useful to create recipes because a lot of people don't know how many different tasks you can create. There are unlimited amount. Your task can also be turned on and off. This is useful if you don't want to completely get rid of it, but you don't want to constantly get reminders or messages or however you set up your task. All right, so now you probably want to join. So click this button at the bottom, join. And I already have an account, but if you don't, Type in a username that does not exist yet, valid email address, create your password, and then confirm your password and click create account. I already have mine, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. My information has been memorized because I clicked this little box, remember me, and sign in. This is my own dashboard. It shows that I have three tasks and three are enabled, meaning I have created three and I'm currently using all three. It shows that I have no recipes yet, and you can see it also shows my channels here, and I've only enabled 13, which means I have 950 possible task combinations with just those 13 channels. If you want more channels, click this Get More Channels, and it shows you more. The ones that are grayed out are ones I'm not using yet, and the ones with color I am currently using. To go back to your dashboard, click this little box up here with the house. And there is also this option to invite other friends. And this is nice if your other friends want an invitation or if you just simply want to show people how cool IFT is. Let's go back to our dashboard. And there is also these three tabs up top, including your username. And when you click this little down arrow, you'll see there's an activity log, settings and invites and a sign out option. In the activity log, it shows when you have created recipes, tasks, when you have deleted certain things, etc. Go back to your dashboard and let's create our first task. You could do this by either clicking this button, create a task to the left, or clicking the tasks button up top. And then clicking create task. As you can see, here are my three that I've already created. So let's create one. Now we're going to create the this part of the task. So click this blue this button and choose a trigger channel. If your channel is not showing up, you can go and click this blue link, view all channels, and activate the one you're looking for. 
I want to create a task that alerts me when I get a new follower on Twitter. So I'm going to find the Twitter icon, click it, and a certain amount of options for your trigger will pop up depending on which channel you choose. Twitter has quite a few. So I'm going to find new follower, click that, and create trigger. Now we are going to choose the that part. Click the that blue word and you'll see that the action channels pop up. Once again, if you cannot find your channel, click on the blue view all channels link. I'm going to go ahead and pick my email. So that way when I get a new follower, I get an email telling me about it. The only option is obviously send me an email, so click this. And you'll see that they give you um, action fields where you can place text and add in. So when you receive the email, certain things will be said to you. So they'll put in the full name of the person that started following you, their username, and um, the body of the text is pretty much the same. It has a link to their profile. I actually like everything, but if you don't, you can go ahead and click this arrow down here and say, let's add in about text. I want to know about the follower. So now that is going to show up in my email. Then create action once you're finished. You could also add a description of what this means. I'm going to go ahead and say new Twitter follower and create task. And as you can see, my task is now added to my list. Now I'm going to tell you about these icons to the right. If you ever want to turn off your task but not get rid of it, click the second icon that looks like the power symbol. Once it's grayed out, you'll see that this is currently off. If you want to turn it back on, re-click the same symbol. You could also click the icon next to it, the third one over. This allows you to make a recipe out of this task. Your description will now be the title. You can give directions to people like get a new follower and receive an email. So now people will have even more description and direction of what this task is. And once again, it'll show you what your email will say for the subject line and for the body. I'm going to go ahead and keep this and create recipe. You can also share this recipe by copying this link or this URL here. You could tweet about it. You can like it on Facebook. You can even email the link to your friends. Now at the bottom it says create task, but you already have this task, so you don't have to worry about this part. Let's go back to our dashboard by clicking this box. And now you'll see that you have four tasks and one recipe. But I'm guessing that this is the first time you're using IFT, so you'll probably only have one recipe and one task enabled and one total. If you don't want to create your own tasks, then you could add other people's shared recipes like we just did. Click this tab up in the top right, recipes, and you could search for certain recipes, you could filter, you can sort through what's hot, new, or popular. I'm going to see what's new. And here, look at that. My Twitter recipe is already up there for the public to see. And so far, no one has added it yet. So I'm going to go up and sort with what's hot. This one's kind of cool. Email me when a new IFT channel is announced. And obviously a lot of people like it because it's been used a lot. So click this side arrow and scroll down. Make sure you like everything that they put in. And I actually want to add in something into the body. I want to add in a created date. This shows me when new if actions have been created. So create this task. I now have another task in my list. This one simply means, again, if a new IF channel is announced, then I get an email about it. Now, say I don't want this one. I'm sick of it. I don't like it anymore. I can simply get rid of it by pressing this trash can button. Pressing OK, and it's gone. You can do so much with IF. One of the coolest tasks that I have created is if any event starts on my Gmail, like my calendar, then call my cell phone. I will actually get an automated voice calling me to remind me of my scheduled event. The tasks are unlimited, so have fun with it and experiment. 
If you don't like a certain task, then just simply edit it or delete it. Thank you for listening to this tutorial, and I hope you have fun with this IFT program. Thanks for watching this video today. I hope you got something useful out of it, and please stay tuned for more videos to come. What are you still doing here? Why are you still here? The tutorial's over. You should probably go and try it out now. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna go. <laughs>